Was that a cool beginning? Cameron Traduken here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my Airbnb apartment here in Kuala Lumpur. I'm, I don't have a shirt because I'm currently traveling, so I only have four shirts, and all of them are in the laundry. But anyway, let's get to the apartment tour. So, as you can see, this is a pretty nice sized place. This is like the common room. We have a fan, a nice view, a table to eat at. And then we also have a kitchen right here. We we're cooking eggs before and a washing machine, as I said earlier, dishes provided by the host as well as a fridge and freezer. What I really like about this apartment though is that if we go over here, we're gonna go to the window and right here, we got an awesome view of Kuala Lumpur, downtown Kuala Lumpur. And as you can see, we're pretty high up. We're actually on the 40th floor. So you can see pretty far down there. Let's zoom in, yeah. As you can see, we're pretty far away. Even when I'm zoomed in, the people are still pretty small. But check this out, over there, where is it? Uh, uh, over here, over here, you can see some other apartments, rooftop pool. That's the only bad thing about this place is that we're currently staying at, I think it's called Vortex Suites, Kuala Lumpur City Center, and you have to pay for the pool. But other than that, this place is pretty legit. Kind of hard to see, but over here, we're actually staying within walking distance of the Patronus Towers, and that is pretty cool. I got a nice view of that from our apartment. Anyway, we also have a ironing thing and I really liked working on this couch. Anyway, now I'll show you the bedroom and you can see where we've been sleeping. All right, now over this way is the bedroom. Now it is pretty dirty in here because tomorrow morning we're gonna head out to Krabby so it's quite the mess. But anyway, here we've got you know, a standard closet, bed, uh, work area. But we also, in the bedroom too, we have another nice view of the city. So, it's pretty cool to be able to, you know, wake up in the morning and just look down there. Or at night, it's kind of romantic to be able to look out at that. It's a nice view. But dude, you gotta check this out. This, these adapters in Malaysia, they, you can see it that, I guess you can't see it now because we have the adapter plugged in, but the plugs or the outlets in Malaysia, their like prongs or their holes are really spread far apart. So you see these, these standard plugs, uh, like a standard iPhone charger doesn't work in Malaysia. So you have to have an adapter, but we bought some cheap adapter from some sketchy KKK, not KKK Mart. It's called KK Mart. It's a sketchy adapter. And check this out. When I plug in her computer, you'll like see like sparks. See that? That is pretty, hey, that scared me. <laughs> pretty scary. Kind of funny, but I don't know, hoping that we don't have like our electronics burst in flames while we're charging them. Anyway, over this way, we've got a pretty nice private bathroom. Over here, normal mirror. Oh my God, you know, traveling with the girl. There's gotta be lots of stuff, right? Wow. But it's a nice toilet, nice Western toilet, and a nice, uh, Western shower. So, overall, I gotta say I'm pretty happy about this place. 
It's in an excellent location and it was really affordable. It was only $22 a night after the Airbnb tax and cleaning fees. So everything included, this is $22 a night in the downtown of a half, pretty halfway developed, if not developed country. So that was pretty cool. So what I've been saying lately is that I think Malaysia is pretty cool because it's like, it's like you can live like the lifestyle of a developed country. It's like the amenities, you have the amenities of developed country, but you're still paying developing world prices. So I think before this trip, I wasn't feeling so excited about Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, but now I'm thinking it's a lot cooler than it was before. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And while I don't think that being able to score a place like this is typical for $22 a night, I do think that we got a pretty good deal. It does show you that your money can go pretty far if you shop around a little bit. And of course, that means if you're living here, you could probably get an even nicer deal on apartments. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you again soon.